Well, welcome everybody to uh, my uh, conversion of a carport to a shop. This is us getting rid of the old chicken coop that we had had. We had 21 chickens back there. Finally had enough of that process. So we ripped this thing down and started the work of thinking about getting a car part over here and turning it into a shop. A lot of preparation as we uh, got involved. My son Carter and Drew and a lot of people helped out. I even had a, one of my old instructors from school come out and help me out. And also had to move the shed over behind the carport before we could get the process going, which was kind of tricky. But we got it all done. Lots of moving, lots of unpacking the shed, packing the shed. Prepared our area for concrete to uh, put the carport on that. That was kind of fun, as you guys can watch here. Then started the whole process of taking down the tin that was on top of it because it was aimed the wrong way for drainage. Took it all apart and then started reassembling everything so we could put the tin uh, up there. Had to add some wood to it so we could have something to go on. And then Luke, the welder with Custom Iron Design, uh, came by. I did some trade work for him during the summer for uh, weekly mowing and trimming. So he came by and hooked a, hooked a brother up. That was definitely a plus. And these drawers uh, are very solid and uh, they did a very great job. So as you guys can tell, a lot of work went into that. Also just getting the tin up on top of the house was uh, quite the undertaking. We had to uh, line out the boards specifically to uh, get the bolt pattern because they already had existing holes in them outside of just ordering new tin. So we put everything up so we could uh, screw it right into the wood so we wouldn't have any seams that would uh, have any water leaks. So this is quite the process as well. Lots and lots of trips to Home Depot, <laughs> getting wood, getting screws and all kinds of stuff. This is uh, after they had got all the doors put on and hung. And then we started adding uh, some plywood to secure the structure. That was uh, another uh, undertaking, but a lot of fun in the process of. We added a little bit of electrical so we could have some kind of power out there and uh, just started adding that. This is when uh, the structure really started taking some shape and some form. I was getting excited and starting to just kind of envision what this was going to be about. Lots of fun. Um, then we uh, did this back wall. I did a little time lapse on that. That was kind of fun, but hooking that up. And I had to have a center beam in there, which kind of messed us up on the two foot centers, but uh, I had to put that center beam in there so I could put my elk in there. A lot of uh, pre prep work for the stuff that was going to go into it. Uh, a lot of thought process, and Don was uh, exceptional in that. And he also was uh, able to help my son Carter learn a lot of the skills of the trade and uh, Don being patient enough to uh, just work with a 13 year old that wants to learn. So lots of fun. We had to redo some of the electrical because the grounds were, they didn't even have any grounds. They cut them all out. Very dangerous, uh, 220 volt. And we took all that out and made it right. So I had to add a new board to it, but uh, lots of fun. So in these pictures, you can see the shop really taking form. Uh, turning that carport into a shop was a, a blessing for sure for my business as well. But uh, a lot of learning in this and a lot of fun. Uh, definitely uh, beyond what I would imagine. And uh, very, very blessed to be able to have this so I can work on all the equipment out there. Carter was able to learn a lot as a young man on the industry and how to cut, how to uh, properly do things. So. Anyways, it's an ongoing process of constantly doing things and upgrading things, but if you guys like, please uh, hit the like, smash that like button, 
subscribe, and uh, please share. Thank you guys so much. God bless.